Yo, what's up, my guys? Hope y'all having a great day. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to check out the Rust PC skins. But before we do that, would you guys drop a like? It helps out a lot with the algorithm and it lets the digital overlords know that my videos don't suck. That being said, we're going to check out these skins and then at the end of the video, we'll check out the uh, Frontiersman Hazmat bundle that was released earlier. But uh, let's go ahead and check these out first. First up is Barbed Wire Poncho, which is pretty dope looking. I don't know if it's worth 250 It is a custom mesh. Honestly, I don't know how visible it will be when you're wearing something underneath it. You know, depending on what hoodie, or t-shirt, whatever you're wearing, it might not be as visible. Or it might look even better. Who the fuck knows? And, uh, obviously from these picks, we are going to be getting some kind of barbed wire headpiece. Like, it kind of looks a little bit goofy. I don't know. I don't really like the uh, headpiece that much. But the, the poncho's not too bad. Honestly, I like it. 250 I don't know if it's worth eh, eh. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Next up is the Black Diamond hoodie, and we also have pants, which I will say this uh, this blackout set is probably one of my favorite blackout sets that I've seen. Kind of reminds me of something when the bikers would wear, you know, this guy said drive down the highway and do, you know, illegal tricks and whatnot. I think they're cool. Dangering people's lives, so, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, this actually uh, looks pretty awesome. I do like it. And I don't think it's super expensive, considering the prices of the other blackout sets that are in the marketplace, or I have seen in the marketplace. That's not too bad. These pants look pretty dope as well. Honestly, I do like the set. It looks pretty cool. Got the little chaps in the back, so you don't uh, wear a hole in your pants. You know. Honestly, this set's pretty cool. It's not super expensive, and it's a decent blackout set. Uh, I approve. Next up, it's the Bombshell Star, which I also highly, highly approve of. I think it looks dope as fuck. I like the uh, custom mesh on the handguard. The sight is uh, really good. I'll show you the sight here in a second. It reminds me, it's giving some World War II, uh, you know, plane vibe, like bomber vibe. Two, I'm standing on the artwork that's on top. There's some cool artworks on top. You might have just caught a glimpse of it here a second ago. I love this face in the back, too. And these sights, they're uh, fucking pay to win. It's all hell. Yeah, that's pay to win sights. And stars already have great sights anyway. And the sight picture in general with the face staring back at you, it's just it's cool as all hell. Like, I like this set. It's dope. And uh, you can see the artwork there. I'll show it to you. Uh, there's like a better picture of it. It's a. Uh, a hottie where uh writing a bomb and she looks like she's got a uh SAR, but it's like a short and barrel version, like the SBR version of a SAR. So uh yeah, honestly, and it, it does remind me of the uh World War II bombers. I think the Enola Gay had like artwork on it like that, and that was the bomber that famously dropped a, a nuke on uh Japan. They deserved it. Come at me in the comments. Honestly, I really like this gun. Uh, $1.99, I think, is a good price. If I bought this and I played Rust's uh, PC, I probably would only use the SAR skin. It's pretty sick. I do like it. Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Next up is the Forest Raider Locker. And uh, at first, I was like, eh, I don't know if it's worth the uh, $250. It does glow, though, so that kind of makes it lean more to the, the value. But uh, I don't know if it's worth $250. i would still rather it be like $1.99, although it is pretty cool. I think how it has like ammo can there and meds. I think this is supposed to be some kind of like armor or some shit like that. I don't know. But uh, camouflage netting on it looks pretty good. Honestly, I don't know how it'll look with the lock on it though. I wonder if the lock's just going to float or maybe it'll stick onto this bar right there. On uh, console, there's like a locker. It looks pretty dope, but there's like the whole center is missing. So when you put a lock on, it looks like it's floating in midair. It looks kind of dumb. But honestly, this looks pretty good. 250 uh, Like I said, I wish it would be a little bit less, but since it does glow at night, I'd go ahead and give it the 250 It's kind of a decent value. Next up is the Neon Bismuth Armored Double Door, which it kind of looked like the other door for a second. I had to do a double take. But uh, yeah, it's clearly different because he's got the slots for the uh, where you can toggle to open up the armored door. Honestly, it's not really my color palette of choice, but then again, it's neon. There's only so many colors you can work on with neon, so when something's neon, I just give it a little bit of leeway of it having kind of fruity colors, you know? And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I feel like you could probably find something better, but yeah, uh, glows in the dark, two ninety nine. All right. Next up, we have the Oasis Garage Door, which it does glow as well. Here I'll show you Pacific glowing, but like eye glows and stars glow. Uh, it's not really my thing. It does look pretty good with the Adobe skin, but then again, I'm not really a big fan of the Adobe. I actually think the Brutalist is a way better skin, but you know, it is what it is. It doesn't look too bad. I can see people fucking with it. It's not 
It's not terrible looking. I don't know, two forty nine seems like it's a little bit like if it was a dollar ninety nine, I can get like a glowing but it gets a little bit of a higher price, but I don't know. This is not really my thing. I don't see it being highly desirable. I can see people fucking with it. Maybe people will have the uh, Adobe skin would probably get this. But I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you think it's worth it. Honestly, I, I would just pass on it. I don't like it that much. Next up, we have the porcelain sheet metal door. which This is from the fr uh, Frontiersman pack that I was talking about. It's like a picture of the Frontiersman on it. It does glow. It looks okay. I can't hate on it that much, but I feel like you get better skins for the price point. And it does, like, it does pop. It does have a good texture to it. It does glow, you know what I mean? But it just, I don't know, it's kind of boring looking. It's not really my thing. But the Frontiersman does kind of look dope on there. Next up, we have the Shiny Edge AR, which is uh, for the people who are attracted to the Shiny thing. I honestly think it's kind of plain. I think we have better skins that, you know, look similar, that are better than this. And like the side picture is kind of kind of ass, honestly, for three dollars. Next up is Twisted Metal Furnace, which I like furnace skins. If you follow any of my videos on console before we had the electric furnaces, I used to get a lot of furnace skins because no matter where you are in the, your wipe, you probably have at least one or two furnaces in your base, even if you have large furnaces outside. It's, you know, it's nice to have small furnaces, and these ones look pretty dope. Honestly, it makes me wish the garage door was glowing even more. Now that I see this, because this looks sick. Like, imagine that garage door from last week had eyes that looked like that or glowing. And honestly, it'd be really cool if this uh, was glowing even when you didn't light it up. Like, just the eyes, maybe, and the mouth lit up when you turned it on. And honestly, I'd give it even two fifty for that if that was a feature. But as is for dollar ninety nine, I think it's well worth. It goes with Halloween. I like the metal patchwork on it. It does look pretty fucking sick. I, I do like the way it looks. Honestly, I think this is a win for $1.99. Like, this is a fucking straight dub. I'd buy it. We actually have something similar to the Bombshell SAR. It's the Squadron. Uh, we don't, I don't think we have a SAR for it yet. We have the Squadron set on console, which looks very similar. It's kind of, I don't know. I kind of like the Bombshell stuff better, but they do look a lot alike. Same, like, idea going on. If I had to pick uh, my favorite from this rotation, I don't know. It's kind of hard to pick between the SAR and this uh, Furnace. I mean, you're going to use the Furnace more often. It's an architecture thing, and it's like something that uh, you have no matter where you are in your wipe. Beginning and end of the wipe, you usually have one, or at least one furnace in your base. So, kind of lean towards that, especially since they're both the same price. But I don't know, something about that SAR is just badass. I'd probably end up getting the SAR, honestly. All right, so now that we went through the rotation, we'll go ahead and check out the, uh, the Frontiersman pack, which unfortunately, here we only have this picture of it. Uh, I have seen some videos on you know, online like that, uh, really sh showcasing the DB and what the, the Frontiersman hazmat skin looks like. And you might be thinking, 10 bucks that's a little bit expensive for a hazmat bundle, but that being said, I did spend $10, well, $10 worth in RC in uh, console rust for that, their Drifter hazmat, which honestly, I think the Drifter hazmat looks better than this badass, probably one of my favorite hazmat skins out of PC and console. I don't know, it's pretty dope. A lot of people are comparing this to the Nomad one, and honestly, I think this in a way, it's kind of cooler than the Nomad, because Nomad is like, whatever. But this is like the early American cowboy and Indian, like, you know, fucking Americans were badass kind of hair. I don't know, I like it. It does look cool. I could care less about that hatchet. The hatchet kind of sucks dick, not going to lie. The DBs, it's fucking sick, though. I like it. Ten bucks. Uh, I don't know, I'd probably fuck with it, honestly. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Frontiersmen and the, uh, the other stuff that are in the rotation today. And if you want to stay up to date with Rust content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I hope you guys have a great day. Deuces.